Welcome back to our Inside the Issues special. The Bureau of Justice Statistics has released a new report showing that non-citizens have dramatically increased as a proportion of federal arrests. In 1998, for example, 37 percent of all federal arrests were of non-citizens. Last year, non-citizens had risen to 64 percent of all people arrested by the feds. Again, 64 percent of everyone the federal law enforcement officials arrest is not an American. Amazing. Overall, the raw number of non-citizens getting arrested more than tripled, despite being just 7 percent of the country's population, at least officially. Non-citizens are 24 percent of federal drug arrests, 28 percent of fraud arrests, and 15 percent of all prosecutions in U.S. District Court for non-immigration non crimes. So the next time they tell you immigrants are more law-abiding than we are, be quiet. You have no right to criticize them. They're lying. Of course they're lying. They're always lying. They're definitely lying about that. So it's easy to have this data remain abstract, though, until it actually affects where you live. Montgomery County, Maryland, is a place that has been affected. It's a place that's fallen all over itself to accept illegal aliens. Now, two illegal immigrants have been arrested for raping an 11-year-old girl. One of the perpetrators received a final order for removal in 2016, but as often the case, he was never deported. Vince Colonnese has been following this very closely. He's a host of WMAL Radio here in Washington, D.C., and he joins us tonight. Vince, thanks a lot for coming on. So it sounds like there have been quite a few alleged sexual assaults by non-citizens recently. Yes, particularly in Montgomery County, Maryland. Let me start with Montgomery County, one of the richest places in the entire country. Yes. Uh, and it's right here, 20 miles away from where we're sitting right now. And this county has been dominated by these illegal immigrant rapes over the course of only the past month. We have four illegal immigrants confirmed who've been arrested on rape charges in Montgomery County, Maryland. Now, what makes Montgomery County unique is that it's a sanctuary county. They don't like helping the feds with illegal immigrants. When they take an illegal immigrant into custody, including ones that have detainers by the federal government, they don't tell them. They won't let them know. And in fact, in just the past week, we had an illegal immigrant who is uh, who committed a rape, allegedly, against a woman when she was blackout drunk. They take him into custody. He's since been released on bond, and they never turned him over to ICE. That's unbelievable. So this is, and we've seen other examples, but I'm not sure we've seen a concentration this intense, of ways that ordinary, that Americans are being hurt, physically hurt, by the political imperatives of the left. Well, the irony of this is it's not just Americans who are being hurt by this. It's also illegal immigrants well, who are being victimized by the people that are committing these rapes. What we're finding is disproportionately the people who are impacted by this are often of the same exact immigrant community. So the county executive is a man named Mark Elrich. He, said, he hates Donald Trump. He thinks that Donald Trump and ICE are committing acts of terrorism by enforcing the law. He's used that phrase, terrorism, because it brings fear, he says, to the community. Well, I got to say, Mr. County Executive, what brings fear to the community more, enforcing illegal immigration laws or allowing rapists to be released into that community so they can commit crimes again? Has anyone noted this to him? Well, people have tried. And you know what's interesting is when the story of the 11-year-old girl who was repeatedly raped by two illegal immigrants, Montgomery County police say, came out. It was radio silence from Montgomery County leaders. They didn't want to talk about this because they know how bad this is for the signs of their leadership. And in fact, they were partying in, uh, on the beach in Maryland, in Ocean City, Maryland, during this. They were having a conference refusing to respond to any media requests. It was over 24 hours later. The first response came from a county spokesman, blame the federal government for the fact that these illegals committed these crimes. How did they blame the federal government? Well, they said, well, oh, it's their responsibility to enforce federal immigration law. They should have done it. If they had done it, this wouldn't have happened. That's unbelievable. That's how outrageous it is. And Montgomery County residents are furious. I'm talking to them every single day on my radio program, and they're absolutely living. And they're not the only ones. Law enforcement in Montgomery County don't know what the rules are. They're told they're not supposed to talk to ICE. Now Montgomery County leaders are so consumed with self-loathing over all of this and are trying to get this out of the way that they've told the cops, well, you can actually, the jailers, you can contact ICE in the case of severe crimes. But what that means, totally opaque, not clear at all to local law enforcement officials. And they say these guys, these leaders, are making up the rules as they go along. A little late for the, the children who've already been raped. Yes. Quickly, what's the name of the county executive again? Mark Elrich. He's the Montgomery County executive. And he is at the center of all of this chaos. He hates Donald Trump more than he likes his own residents. Yeah, well, that's, he's not the only one. Vince Colonies. Thank you for that report. Thank you very great. much.